How are you? How are you, my friends? Good evening. How are you? How are you? Kiss from Imelda, guys. I am here, Imelda Salo. Inspired. Welcome, guys. Do you know my names? I am Imelda Salo. Inspiration. I'm John from Germany, friends. I'm so grateful to see you for us. In this life, we need to encourage each other. And for my new subscribers, thank you so much. For my subscribers, thank you so much. And for those who are coming every day to watch my videos, mwah, mwah, I love you. I appreciate you. I am just here to encourage you out there. What are you going through at this time, at this moment? What are you doing and what are you going through? What are you thinking? Remember, this is 2024. What are the goals 24 in your life? What are your challenges in, your, in this 2024? What are your goals? Which achievements do you, are you praying for in this 2024? My friends, you cannot live with dreams of 2023. 2024 needs new blessings, new dreams, new motivation upon your life. Because you have to know that your life is your life and you're the manager of your life. You're the jump starter for your life. You have to activate your life for your future. Just saying, you know what? Ah, oh, I can't make it. Life is so hard. Life is not so hard. It is you, you are making your, that life to be hard. Because you don't want to try. Why can't you come up and try? Don't let that life to put you down. You are just there singing and say, you know what? Life is so hard. I can't manage. You know, I don't have a job. I've been looking for a job many years ago. I have never been lucky to have one. Remember, it is you to jumpstart your car, jumpstart your mind and go out and say, you know what? I am going out and when I come back, I want to have something for myself. So friends, jumpstart. You have the key for your life. If you have a car, you will never drive that car without key. You need to start that key. So it is you to start your life today. This is 2024. Start your life. Go out. If you want to be successful, go out. Because that success will never follow you where you are. Get out of your comfort zone and go out. I'm sure that you want to meet your blessings there. You want to meet your miracle out there. There is nothing will ever find you where you are. Everything in this life, we need to go out and get it from there. You know, this is the real truth. That's where you see people, they're just crying. I don't have this. You're just crying. You are trying this. It is not even successful. You are starting business. It's collapsing. You are employed because you don't have that consistent. Consistent, guys, it's a matter of doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it until you are blessed. You cannot do once, then you give up. You say, you know, this is not my thing. That is your thing. Be consistent. Do it again and again and again and again. When you do that to be like a routine and being consistent, I'm telling you, you will see, you will start seeing bearing some fruits. There is no giving up in this life. My friends, if you're watching this video, there is no giving up. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what kind of sicknesses you are carrying with you. And you feel this burden is so big. Remember that burden, you have to bring it down. It might be so big you're carrying in your back. You say, oh, nine. This sack full of sugar, 90 kilos, I can't carry it anymore. I am motivating you today. Carrying that burden, it is just for the time being. Stand up. Take that burden out of your back and say, speak to that burden and say, you know what, burden of sickness, 
I am tired of you. Burden of poverty, I am tired of you. Burden of rejection, I am tired of you. Burden of career, I am career, I am tired of you. Get out and let all that burden down and step out. Set your feet fast after another follows. And I am telling you, your blessings gonna follow you, gonna follow you. Don't let that burden to overtake your future. Don't let that burden to give you depression and stress all over. Don't let that burden to put you down. It is you to put that burden down. You know you are the manager of that burden. You are the one who is allowing that burden to burden you. So friends, put that burden down and say, you know what? I gonna make it. I gonna make it. This burden, I'll never take you anymore. I have carried you for so long. I have carried you for 20, from 2023. I am not going to carry you again in 2024. You have to say, you burden, I disconnect myself from you. I disconnect you. Disconnection of problems, disconnection of poverty, disconnection of stress. Leave that stress down. Take it down and speak to that problem. Being firm and you mean it. Stand for your word and say, Baden, I have carried you enough. And when it comes enough, enough is enough. There is no turning back. Enough is enough. That positivity in your life, you need to go, you need to move, trusting God to be on your side. Because I do believe without God, nothing, nothing you will, you will ever achieve. In every step in life, and if you involve God in your life, I am telling you, you're going to be a kongara. Because God is there for us and is the one who takes away that burden. It is, for example, when people, they are not uh, born again, maybe they are not Christians, because the mother, they don't believe in salvation. But even if you believe in God, you go through, you know, when you have God in you, there is nothing so hard. And remember when you go down to your knees and pray, you cry to God, you say, God, I am so tired with this situation. Speak to that situation. I am so tired for all this I'm going through in my life. My life is just the same again. It is the same again last year, 2023. It is also the same again in 2023, 24. I am telling you, friends, it is you to take a step of faith and say, you know what problem all this burden i put you down today and you are not going and you are not going to take all my happiness and i'm telling you if you decide to put that burden down and say you know what I know that I will make it in this life. I know that I'm going to be blessed by God. I know that there is no mountain which is so big. And I'm telling you, you have to confess with your mouth. Speak to that problem. Speak, 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 speak. Speak to that problem. Sometimes just be like crazy in the house. You are talking alone. People, they are wondering, who are you talking with? Is mama crazy? Why is mama talking alone? You are talking, you are talking to your to your creator. This is an experience, friends, I have gone through in my life and it has worked for me. I was a crazy woman for God. I used to go out as you know that I have five children in my life, being born in a very bad background in Africa, being rejected with the father of my kids, telling me that you woman, you are not, you never make it in life. You are just a failure. There is no one who is a failure in this life. Because all of us, we believe to, we belong to God Almighty. He is our creature. He knows our future. It doesn't matter the rejection, poverty, anything you're going through right now, you're watching me. Stand up and shake yourself. Let that burden fall down out of you. Come out like a giant. You say, God, I'm going to face it. I am ready. I'm going to face it. And I am telling you, you will come out of that situation. You will come out of that situation. There is nothing permanent. This is just a trial. This is just a trial. This is just a life trial. 
if you stand up today and you say, you know what? I am the manager for my life. I am the supervisor for my life. I am a worker for my life. I am a CEO for my life. God be with me and the God who is inside me. If you are not born again, you come and see. And if you don't believe in God and you have never met Jesus in your life, remember that God is the mighty one and is the way, the truth for your life. Because there is no way you can pray and your prayers to be answered if you don't believe in God and you don't trust in God. Submit all your needs, all your problems in your life unto the Lord. And you're going to see the miracle, miracles and miracles as will just follow you. You're going to see God. Wonders and miracles will follow you. All goodness, it will come unto you. All riches, all riches belongs to God. All happiness belongs to God. My friend, before I was born again, I was touched just small. Something touched my life. I was jump-started. I had nowhere, no one to turn to. I had a lot of problems, a lot of stress, a lot of depression, being left with four children, just you as a single mother, being confused, moving from house to house. A friend will never help you. A friend will sit down, will just hear your story, nothing. I decided to stand up for Jesus and say, you know what, enough is enough. I want to see this God. This God, people say that God is a God of wonders. This is the God I want to see. I decided to give my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. I say, God, from today, I am born again. I want to see you in my life. Oh, God, I want to see you. I want to see you in my life. And I am telling you, I am giving you this testimony. I am here. I am. I am here where I am today, guys, because of God. I am not here because of any human being. All my prayers were answered. I had a lot of burden in my bag. I had a lot of burden and stress of having children, rejection from my my family, calling me names. I was just all alone. I did have a friend. Friends were just my children, suffering with them along the streets. But I trusted God for my future. I said, this is me. I am starting my car from today. And this car, I'm going to take it. No matter challenges you're going through, no matter what you're facing, I know you, sister, you're watching me. You might be born again. Sometimes the devil comes into your mind and start ministering to you. What are you doing? You're wasting time. You're always praying. You have never received any miracles. Your prayers has never been answered. Remember that is the devil ministering to you. Stand up and say, firm, say, my time is coming. My time is coming. My time is coming. And surely your time will come your time will come that time will that time will come and it shall pass we pray god answers prayers he has answered so many prayers for me god has done so much for me god has done so much for me guys friends god has done so much for me so much for me. He healed my soul. He took all the pain which was in me. He restored my happiness back. He reunited me with my children. I never saw the teenage of my kids, but God did it for me. God re re reunited us together with my children after some years. Trusting for what you don't see, but you believe that God, I know one day it will come to pass. Take this faith, work with this faith. Believe and trust for what you don't see. And I am telling you, you wanna see God in your life. Speak to that problem. Speak to that situation. 
whatever you are going through, you know yourself what you are going through. What is your what is putting you down? What is make what is taking your happiness? Eh? What is giving you a lot of depression and stress? Your mind is full of stress and depression. You just speak to yourself and say, you know what? You don't know if you're going to make it tomorrow. Of course you're going to make it tomorrow. It is you to jumpstart your life from today. It is you to start living a positive life. Positivity is our portion in 2024. And you're going to achieve all your, your dreams, all your desires. And just know that your dreams are valid. It is you to go and take your dreams. You should not allow the devil to put you down there. You should not allow the devil to minister unto you. Just wake up and stand up. Go for your dreams. It is you to set your dreams so high for God to intervene in your life. And let that miracle be valid upon your life. Stand up, sisters and brothers, and trust God. I am telling you from the bottom of my heart, being here and speaking unto you. I don't know who is watching this video, but I know that God is our blesser. He's our strong tower. He's our refuge. He's the king of kings and is the healer. He's the doctor of doctors, friends. It doesn't matter. The, it doesn't matter what kind of diseases do you have. It doesn't matter how many diseases they have cancer you have aids you have what remember god is our healer god will just give you a new body it is you to confess and take a step of faith and let faith work in you let that faith feed that faith in you jump start your life and let that faith flow in your life believe for what you don't see believe what for what you don't touch knowing that at the end of the day god gonna do miracles and wonders upon my life he's going to bring my family together he's going to give me a husband he's going to heal my body my soul i know this is the god we believe and we trust in